Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. We're gonna be making this little guy today. It's a heart bobble shaker. Um, and it's just, you know, it's good for photo props. You can put it on a gift. Um, it's just pretty. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Um, all right, so let's get started. Before we do, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate it. All right, let's get started. So uh, this heart bobble, it is an ornament, so it's just like the, the round ones, except that um, it's heart-shaped. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can keep it like this, or you can add a cardstock background so that you can add a shaker and do something more like this. I'm going to show you both. This one, we're just going to put a name on it so I can show you the name Mackenzie. This one, we're going to do as well. All right. Let's get started. Uh, so it's from Amazon. This is the 100 millimeter bottle or heart. And so it's just under four inches. So what's different about the heart shape is, you know, as opposed to the round ornament, the round ornament, once you measure the diameter, you're good, right? It's the same diameter no matter which way you look at it. The heart has a different shape to it. So this is what we're gonna do. I basically eyeballed this. I know that my measurement is four inches, a little bit under four inches, and that's what we're gonna really go with. And it's slightly, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to show you and give you that little disclaimer. All right, so I'm going to move all of this over. This is the end, okay? So I'm gonna move all this over. What you wanna do is you wanna start with a heart. So let's go to shapes. And we're gonna insert this heart. I truly, I mean, this is, it's really pretty. It's a thin offset. Um, it's okay. I mean, I was surprised at, I was okay <laughs> with it not being perfect. I'm so used to, you know, I'm so used to having the exact measurements for a round ornament. So on this one, um, it, the shape isn't totally there, but it's, I was working with Abby from Sassy Renita Crafts, and she was saying she tried everything, um, tracing it, you know, importing it into design space. I almost feel like it's not worth the effort. This looks really, really cute. And you can check out my Instagram to get better pictures. Um, okay, so with the heart, I feel like, you, you know, you wanna look at your heart and you wanna look at your design. Um, I ended up doing, I'm gonna change the width to about four inches. So when you measure this heart bobble, and let me open it so that I can remeasure it. It is four, almost, it's just slightly under four inches going across at the top where it's biggest, right? And it's about, it's about four, 3.75 inches high. So you can see right here, we already need to make some changes. So I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner and a little bit longer. And that's gonna be my heart, okay? The good thing is we're getting an offset, so it's gonna give us a little bit extra all around, okay? So, um, I did not cut out this heart, I cut out the offset. So what you wanna do at this point is, if you like this arrow, which I do, I think it's really, really cute, you're gonna add it on. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go into images. <clears throat> and we're gonna search arrow. And as soon as it pops up. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's coming. And let's see if I can find the one that I liked. 
So you can scroll and just see which one you like. I mean, this is just, we're designing it from scratch and so. Um, I'm trying to see, where is it? I don't see it off the top of, you know, so let's do this one. I like, I think this one's pretty. We're gonna add to canvas. Now the arrow is connected. If the sizing works, we can just put it through. If it doesn't, we can slice up the arrow. So I'm going to go with the one on the left. So I'm going to contour and just get rid of the one on the right. So I'm going to select this to remove it, to hide it. And here's my arrow. So So see, that doesn't really work, right? So what I'm gonna do is, let's move it like this, and then we're going to bring in a square. We're gonna slice this up so that we can size it better. So it doesn't have to be one arrow continuously. We're gonna do this. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit thinner. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. And then we're gonna slice this guy. Actually, wait, sorry. Let's make this, we're gonna slice it like this. That way, the pieces are gonna break apart and we don't have to worry about it. So the front of the arrow is gonna be split off. Right, and then now we're gonna delete this, delete this. I'm gonna move the yellow ones out of the way. So we can make this, I like this one, that looks good to me. This is too, too thick, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I think that looks good. <clears throat> and so if you like this, you wanna grab the whole thing and you wanna grab an offset. And I like my offset really thin, so I'm gonna put 0 0.10. And it's just gonna be a thinner offset. I'm gonna apply, and that's gonna be my first layer. So my first layer, if you look at my project, is white. So I'm gonna change that to white. Then I'm gonna do another offset. And that one is in red. So I will change that to red so it matches everything. Okay, this arrow, um, I am, I'm gonna slice it from the heart because I don't want it to extend so far. So I'm gonna grab the heart and the arrow and slice because we're gonna do that in HTV. So if you look at this, the arrow is in a gold um, uh, gold glitter HTV and it just kind of pops out. It's really, really pretty, but I want it to be exact because you can see on the inside. So I want this measurement to be good. And then I'm gonna take this heart and I'm gonna slice it from the bottom arrow. Um, did it work? No. So I um, grab, sorry, I grab the heart, hit shift, and then grab the bottom of the arrow and sliced it. So now I know that this piece is cut exactly to go at the heart right there, and then this piece as well. So it's gonna fit perfectly. You can get rid of that. We don't need that. We don't need this ex excess of the, of the arrow. Okay, so this and this will be HTV. 
This will be white cardstock. You're gonna sit the bobble on top of it. Inside is gonna be the confetti and you're gonna glue the bobble to this white piece and then you have this red piece back here. The only thing that's left is the name. So you know we're about three, I would say 3.75 inches across in the, in, in the top part, right? So with the name Mackenzie, it's one of my favorite fonts. I'm just gonna go to Hanaberry Koo. I like having um, a cursive font and it's just, you know, swirly and pretty. And it's from Creative Fabrica. Oops, I didn't spell it correctly. Uh, let me see. There we go. So I'm just gonna type in her name. And is this, oh, this is caps lock. Okay, so let me not do caps lock because I don't, um, like a cursive font just doesn't look good with that. Okay, so here's the name. Just again, do an offset. So the name is in HTV or is in vinyl. If you want to do, you know, on top of here, you can do vinyl, and that's why I cut it twice. But regardless, it's going to be 0 0.10 of an offset, so I'm going to apply it. And now you can size this accordingly. So I'm going to go over here if this looks kind of good, and it actually does look pretty good. I would just save it and go make it. That's all there is to it. And then you can see the pictures. It's super, super cute. I wrapped the wand in the wooden dowel in red satin ribbon, just so that it's not a wooden dowel. Um, and in between the red layer and the white is the wooden dowel so that um, you don't have it in the back. Really, really fun and cute project. All right, that's all super simple, right? Um, all right, let me know what else you wanna see, comments, questions, requests, all of that, it's all good. All right, thank you, bye guys.